Perhaps no event did more to create the economic powerhouse of the United States than the completion of the Transcontinental Railroad in 1869, almost a hundred years ago. The first Transcontinental Railroad was authorized by Abraham Lincoln, and it created a vast transportation network and allowed coast-to-coast -coast communications across America. Locomotive by Brian Floca won the 2014 Caldecott Medal. This is a prestigious award given to illustrators for the high quality pictures they contribute to a picture book, pictures that tell the story, the true story of the first transcontinental railroad here in America. This creates a quandary for librarians. Some libraries will shelf this book in the nonfiction section for children. After all, the book is full of solid facts and has an extensive, complete bibliography. Other libraries will shelf it with picture books, which are almost always fiction and which tell fun imaginative stories. The large, detailed illustrations in this book Tell what it would have been like to have ridden a train across the country in the early days of railroading. You'll see how the workers do their jobs, how the railroad was built, how the machinery works. You'll also feel what it's like to ride across a large, tall, rumbling timber trestle and feel the wind in your face. Locomotive is a fun read aloud, and it's written in non-rhyming stanzas, which sound almost like a rap or poetry. So children will enjoy listening to it, and they'll savor all the minute details in the pictures. Each page teaches something about railroading and American history. So it's a fascinating read for people of all ages, though it's especially laid out to appeal to younger children. It's a book you can probably find in your local library, so just ask your friendly librarian. The book is not a chapter book, but it does pack more information in it than is common with picture books. School Library Journal recommends it for the third up to and including the fifth grade.